Hi, we're the K3, and this is our final weekly watch list of 2019. Oh my God. All right, you guys. Where are we so, going to start? We are going to start with VIP Monday, Tuesday. It's our only oh. Monday, Tuesday show, and I'm going to take up every ounce of time on our Monday, <laughs> Tuesday shows with VIP. Holy shit, people. This show, this show is crazy. All right. Awesome. Crazy awesome. I'm so what? mad. What? I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm mad. I'm frustrated. I'm confused. Where? where, where? It is just, it's About so, what? I just, what is, what is the character of Sung Joon? Like, I don't understand what they're doing with him. Lee Sung Yoon, we don't understand. I like, don't get uh, it. Th there is so much that they are not telling, telling us. us. There better be. There better be. Right, there exactly. Better That's be. my concern. My concern is that we get to episode <laughs> 16 and he just was really this much of an idiot. Of a but there are theories galore that galore. we're seeing, oh, see, seeing Siri, that are searing the internet. Yes, and I love reading every single one of them because I just need one of them to be true because I, I can't, this cannot be it. The thing, I think the it can't one, be, right? I'm, I'm, yeah, better, right? Not, better not be, is what I keep saying. So the theory that I'm buying the most uh -huh. is that he is a master manipulator. He married um, Jang Nara. She's very wealthy. And they mm -hmm. haven't, I mean, we see that beautiful house all the time, so we know it. But are you, <laughs> are you on board with a different one? I'm such a I'm such an e song you apologist. I will never buy that one. <laughs> and that he's I want to hear this one though. I know, me too. Yeah. But that because why is we're trying to explain why he's choosing right. um Yuri. 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 Oh I yeah. blocked her name out of my oh, God, I hate her why so much. Why he's choosing oh. Yuri over his wife. And it's because she is the key to the conglomerate. <laughs> the company. So that's one theory. That's that one theory. Because out there. her dad has taken her under his wing. Right, they have no children. Yeah. But why don't they have children? This is another theory that's out there. Uh -huh. There's so there's so many wackadoodle theories, wait, and wait, I love every single one of them. Like, why does the VP not why does no one in this family have children? Mm -hmm. Is and why does it just this one miraculous human arrived, right? And so <laughs> back when he was in college, right, in college is now dead. dead. So there's a theory the out there. There's yeah. another theory, and it's probably my favorite theory. <laughs> is that is that uh the VP found his daughter. Well, 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 I just I will concede that it's his daughter because there's also a theory Dude, out that, there that she's actually his mistress and that there was a that they're she's, using the she, story. They're using the story of her being the daughter yes. to cover it up because that's not as scandalous. Right. As, oh. So that's another theory oh that I God. I would love <laughs> to get on board with, but I feel like we don't have enough that. time to, to get to, yeah. to, to, to go that way. But what I do think I like is that they a theory that I'm going with that makes me the happiest is that <laughs> Is that Yuri and her dad kind of came up with this plan that they had to break up the power couple that is uh, uh, Jung Sun, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Jung Sun and Sung Jun, oh. and to break that up so that she they could get the daughter in there so that they could then own that whole department. So they had to bring Sung Jun to their side, and so she that's the one eventually to own the whole company. The whole though? company, and so they the because because Sung Jun knows all of the VP's dirty secrets. And so they needed oh, to they needed to break VIPs get him up, yeah, yeah all of, and not the, and the VPs oh, the VP. because oh, kind of like a secret is, boutique thing yeah Sung <laughs> Jun's been going around and paying off all of his mistresses and knows oh, all the dirty oh, oh. secrets of the VP so they needed to break right. up the power couple because the wife is a little bit more virtuous and wants yeah. and has this husband so she's not going to buy into this so if they break the couple apart and they kind of get that, then they get him to his side. They pull him to the dark side. Right. I still say that was a DNA test way yeah, back then. But I'm curious where the Chebal sister comes into play. Yes. Yeah. She, she, she out of came out of field. nowhere. That was fun. Right. So I'm hoping. And she will take, she backs the company, company. over people. And this so. is the other place. This is the other reason why I'm so confused by the Jung, uh, uh, the Sung Jun character. Yeah. So he's, he's a putt. And I'm sorry, Sung Yoon. I love you. But your <laughs> no, character is. is terrible. Um, <laughs> So he's a putz. But <laughs> in these last two weeks' episodes, he completely supports uh he's he's a character. character for not for A, not reporting it right away because yeah. she didn't want to, but gave her a, a leave of absence. And then when she decides to report it, he supports her and wants to get rid of the rot in the company. So why would you as a screen as I'm a script writer? He's just too good and he's gonna be the uh, he's gonna be the I just 
he's, I, he's going to be the one disposed at the end. Exactly. I, don't want that I just, I feel like, I feel like I've been, I've been duped before, but I feel like why would the script writer give us these pieces to have them not add up to something? And this is where my frustration for this show comes in. Because it's happened where I've been like, well, the script writer, this, the writer put this in there, so why'd they give us this if it means nothing? And then it meant nothing. Well, and so I'm John, afraid. John Yara's character who saves right. the day. Right. Who, who ends up being the... the so the, I just... The, no one's going to win, but the winner... And it, for a man, who's, <laughs> if, who, a man who we keep telling, keeps being told is in love with Yuri, he looks fucking miserable. <laughs> it's very I've true. I've never seen a man who is supposed to have found his... His excitement his, his, and it, what did he call it? When he said something about like he said something about her and he's never been this emotional or whatever. I don't even really? know. What he said. Yeah, he said that in the show, and I was like, we, for someone who said that, he's like he looks really on edge and doesn't like her very much. Yes. So I'm very confused. So why do you need keep choosing her? But the, I, I, get, I mean, I know some men like to rescue women. That could be the case. I don't know. We haven't really seen it. But I that, think we can't. We can't have this. We can't go down this road without actually talking about why I understand why he had the affair with her to begin with. I don't understand oh, why he's choosing her now. Yes, but I do, do understand, understand yeah, especially why when he it happened. T- kept telling her it's over. Yes. It's over. And now we see previews where he's like no I'm in love with her we're gonna stay together <laughs> to, but, the v- to the VP right like, but, what? but I but I think because we've got four we got four hours left I think when he asked her everyone's like why would you and I even had this question like why would he bother asking Yuri why she sent the text message when you already know she sent it and you already chose her but why would right. you ask that I think he's starting to realize that he got manipulated with the whole situation and that th- that those cracks are going to start to break apart yeah but I do because because he had already chose he had already chose to stay with his wife right and so be, but because Yuri put cracks in that and made the wife doubt him then he had to own up to his own guilt and that yeah. is why he was like and then the other thing they even said in the preview he was like don't just be bad be truly evil because that is what and that's what a lot of people are talking about online yeah. is that is what the art the art guy did the Tiffany guy oh his, really his woman had oh, said to, her, yes. to, to them. I, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want him just to let me go. I want him to like hate me for it. Like I, <laughs> instead of, it was kind of that if I'm going to be bad, yeah. I'd rather be hated than just be sort of bad. And so there's kind of this theory out there that that is what he's, that's his kind of, I'm so confused. I'm, I'm the hopeless romantic I'm, and I just hope everything he is doing is to try to get save his marriage in the end, even though he's Well, not, this is a really he's awkward not, way to do it. It's it really, really going, it really it's is. going badly. Yeah. So if there's a <laughs> mastermind plan going on. It's bad. Yeah. It might not be going. Not well executed. But I am obsessed. I, oh God, I yeah. am obsessed. I read every theory. I read every conspiracy theory. Uh-huh. I, my, th- my theory uh, is around you read and I'm like, she seems like a natural born puppet master. Mm-hmm. Right? And because All the she, crying? Because I want to punch has, her in the because face. Because she has that youth, because she comes from that yes. background of never having had what she want, and now that she has found, I'm still going with it, he's her father. Now oh, that no, her no, father I actually, yeah. has found her, and now he's coaching that puppet mastery. So oh, I'm like, oh no, this is bad. Yeah. yeah. Those two together. Oh, really. Yeah. Because everyone bad. is so, everyone's been hiding so many secrets. Yes. And for her who came off as so bland yeah. and mild. <laughs> in no. her, her plain old black suit with white shoes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Crying at the designer shoes hiding in her little That rooftop. That is my other yeah. question. Closet. What is with that rooftop closet that she had with right. all of the clothes? And then she went fully decked out to her dad's hotel room? Like, what was that about? Which well, is why like her dad was saw. giving her clothes. Sorry. To... Well, sure, sure. Thought. But that's why people saw, you she know, there's still a question of whether she was actually the mistress or not. So. Oh. Mm. Okay, EVIP. I think dad And was also because the mother poured that, bo- not the mother, the husband's wife, wife. poured that bottle wife. of wine right? on her knowing, knowing that, that she, she was, was the, the daughter. daughter. Like, what is happening in this show? This show makes me crazy and I love it. And it's better, <laughs> if it sticks to landing, this will be one of the greatest shows I've ever watched. Because it is bonkers. Yeah. Then Does I that mean it. the wife gets cut out if the daughter gets the, the share of the company or whatever? I just know that this is so good. Mm-hmm. Can I can I throw in before? It gets yeah, over, oh my we, God, we, of course. We, uh, mentioned it briefly, but I'm just so proud of um, Hyuna and Mina taking a stand. Oh my, against, oh my God, we didn't even talk about those great yeah, storylines about the yes. against the sexual harassment, yes. and assault in the workplace, and from a superior. I'm so. Oh my she's God, such a badass. So, she's such her. a. I love the fact that not only the four women banded together and did that. Yes, I yes. love that the husband also helped out, mm-hmm. and then realized that he never helped his wife out, and that there's yeah. like this. They, the, I love that they're, they, they're coming, they're back, coming together. back together. And I loved that 
uh, what is his name? Jin Ho actually apologized to Hana's character yes, yeah. by being like, I had no idea. I didn't mean to force myself on you. And like, it was just, so that is why I'm hoping. Yes, right? I am hoping. There's evolution. That there's, that there's evolution for uh, Sung Joon because all the other men have evolved. Yes, so well crafted and intricate. Right? Because and they're subtle. so selective about what they show you. Yes. And it's been so tight that it just, yes, absolutely gives us hope that this is right. Good. Because how do you have growth for your two, your two second, third leads and not right. give growth to your first lead? Like, how Please. is that Do you possible? think it'll be a mixed Please. bag in the end? I don't know. Or maybe don't know. all of our supporting characters get but the, our lead. Can't answer that don't, question I yet. Don't we don't know. know. I know. I know. <gasps> I want to know. I love this show so oh, much. Oh, Oh my God, so uh, much. Come, Come on, Monday, Tuesday. All right. I know. Wednesday, Thursday, we have one show and nobody watched it. <laughs> 9.9 billion won woman. Because it's Christmas time. Right. And I, I saw a lot of clips on Instagram and man, like Lee Ji Hoon betrays Cho Yo Jung because we do horrible things for money, right? Right. And well, didn't we kind of see that coming? We did see that coming. So, because we know they're all horrible people, right? right. Every single um, one of them. But what I read is that <laughs> maybe Kang, uh, Kim Kang Woo becomes Cho Yo Jung's redemption. I'm not sure. But the thing is, it's Christmas time and she gets thrown in a freezer. Her husband is so horribly violent and abusive. And I just Again? cannot. Oh, yeah. Still? This week? In a, Still? No, yeah. Worse than throwing her on the porch. She throws her in an actual freezer. So it's like, I, I'm like, I'm sorry. It's Christmas. And I just can't. Right. So now I'm seeing clips on Twitter and people are really kind of in enjoying it so i was contemplating jumping back in if marisa gave me the thumbs up <laughs> not getting that for marisa so let I'm me know not a holiday if, if i should marisa. jump back no. in on this one but as I'm of right a, now i'm not i'm not a fan of the hallmark movie but this is too much in the other direction <laughs> right so, yeah i do have limits all yes. right well let us know mm. uh because i maybe yeah. it's a dark february watch right yeah. exactly it's just we'll a binge watch when we maybe come back. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And one that Jen is getting nowhere near, but these two seem to love it and have it cracktastic. <laughs> Go, chocolate. Marisa, I have joined, I have boarded the trope train. <laughs> uh, however, I'm only through episode four, which would have been end of last week. So I haven't watched current, but I'm excited to hear what I have to look forward to. Um, five and six, I think, are a little different. Um, now we're in the hospice. So it's just... No more um, Irk? I mean Greece. Greece, yeah. No, no more Greece. <laughs> but it's just so, so many tears, right? Because you're in a hospice. And people have <laughs> early people onset Alzheimer's. Someone, and children have leukemia. Someone and, actually on Twitter was like, are we going to have someone die every week? I'm like, they're in a hospice. Yes. <laughs> yes. This would be the end of the circle of life. Too. I know. Because you and I were talking, we were like, it's dark. I'm like, it's not dark. It's a melodrama. But it's dark. I guess it's, it's dark, it's dark yeah. in a sad, sad, sad overwrought kind That's of way. That's what I'm saying. Maybe not dark, like like 9.9 .9 billion won woman dark, That's where dark. you're getting thrown into a freezer and men yeah. are horrible. But it's dark in that kind of like... Maybe There's like, so many tears that I don't know if anyone has enough Kleenex in the history of Kleenex to actually make them ever stop. And that, yes. for me, is really dark and difficult. Yes, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but Kim Won Hae is in it. And yeah. he makes everything all right. All right. And I am beco I'm quickly becoming a Yoon Kye Sung fan. Oh, yeah. He yeah. needs to He's get a personality, so though. That's that what I say in five and six. Um, right. yeah, it's, he's a little, he does tend to play it a little close, at least in three, four, a, mm -hmm. a little bit close to the vest sometimes, like not really, like, yeah. what, like what's going on in there. Yeah. But, um, all these horrible emotional situations occur and I, but I don't really see them breaking through his ice. So, mm. but the so food so porn is oh unbelievable. My God. Yeah. And she, she makes, um, Han Ji Wan. Hajiwan makes this gorgeous um, cherry blossom kimbap. It is just beautiful. I think she takes beets and then she boils rice with it so that it takes on this beautiful pinky uh -huh. red color. Uh -huh. And of course she makes it for a blind woman that the brother is in love with, but she's married to somebody else, but she's in the hospice because we don't know why. What? But the kimbap is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I bought some of that. Oh, yeah. Great. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they do this really great scene with this um, this eight-year-old child. The eight-year-old. With leukemia or cancer it. who, you know, 
runs to see his mother who abandoned him with his grandmother and his brother in the hospice. And uh, Wait, they abandoned the him one, in hospice? The one who had the banana rice cake and they thought yeah. that sent him to the hospital. Which did not. Which it did. But yes, but yeah. he goes to find his mother who of course is in a, an abusive relationship. And they do. And you wonder why I'm not watching oh this show. Oh my God. They do this ridiculous <laughs> I need to get caught up. Where the eight-year-old gives his, she gets, it's her birthday, which is the same as his birthday. And he, but he can't write because, you know, he's been sick so much. So he has a, his little girlfriend write the birthday note to his mother. And what does he give her as a present? A Quiznos sandwich. <laughs> Nothing says happy birthday, mom. Like well-placed PPL. I wonder That's if it was the shrimp. Like fantasy. horribly, stupidly placed PPL. Oh, that was just, I, that, I was, that much food get, porn. Uh, with that much food porn, you can't figure out a graceful way to get Quiznos in there. I know, really. Like a rice cooker should have coughed up the money instead That's of Quiznos. Hilarious. Come on, I love it. it was so. <laughs> Talk show. It's ridiculous. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how long the because uh, I'm definitely having like a. Uh, throwback experience and I'm enjoying it. I'm just like not questioning things, mm-hmm. but I think it's enough 21st century for me, even though it's got all these silly tropes. So yeah. That I'm, I'm still in. So you two enjoy it. Yeah. I, will enjoy, I will enjoy it from here going. Thank you. universe. I'm watching other things. <laughs> I watched and quite enjoyed Stovely. Yes, once I realized it wasn't a comedy. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I had to get over that. Yeah. Oh, not, it's not, no. not a comedy. No, not a comedy. I, it went, gets to, dark. I went to watch Friday on the and they, they didn't have Second subs episode? Yet, so. Second episode is dark ish. It got dark. It got mm. So it's drama. Hilariously, I don't find what happened in Stovely <laughs> dark. People dying in hospice every week, dark. I know, but getting, getting the crap, the crap kicked out, out of you yeah. by your uh, bully of a. Uh, yeah baseball star i guess i oh. found it interesting because it's so, it clearly is something that happens at every team he goes to so oh, yeah. it wasn't it wasn't i didn't find it as dark because it mm-hmm. wasn't like he was horrified by it he was expecting it oh uh, yeah so that's why i was like interesting interesting yeah. choice i liked it a lot Though i will say but... i am really i was th- concerned for his safety when that guy was hitting the baseballs off the tee oh yeah like, i was like how did i kept watching it to be like how did you shoot this because I am stressed out just watching this because I need him to be safe. Because the baseball, because of, yeah. all right, should we break this down? I'm thinking yeah. the baseball was not a baseball. It was a Nerf ball. It, and because they cut to the door, the garage they, door being yeah, hit. Right. But yeah, they kept the showing it. Effect. They did show something blowing past his face and his hair would move. So I don't know yeah. if it was CGI <laughs> or what, but it stressed me out so show. bad. Namgoon, yeah. It wasn't even slow-mo. Namgoon. It was literally oh, an actual. Oh, no, it was fast. It was a, it was a yeah. psh- And his hair would, and he was like, I was like, I was so stressed out for him because we're hearing so many awful stories coming out of Korea right now with the safety people not taking care of their people. And I was like, I know. So I was very stressed out. So that might have taken away. That might have made me. That might have taken away a little bit. So but I am enjoying I, this drama a lot. As I am a drama. really enjoying it. I did not recognize. She looks so different. From, so, so different. Yeah. From a uh, ghost, ghost detective. Detective. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was getting so. We have to jump back. Just a quick aside. Back to VIP. Everyone is wondering, like, you know how, like, with Search WWW? Yeah. We all were like, what is this? What does the title mean? And it ended up being the website Search WWW was right. the thing. And Ghost Detective was dead on what it was. He was a detective, detective who was a ghost. ghost. <laughs> I'm wondering if VIP is going to be, that's the title. Because really, we talk about the VIPs, but we also, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm wondering if the title VIP is going to be important. I had to throw that in there because I'm still obsessed with VIP. Mm-hmm. But yes, she looked wildly different. From wildly different. Ghost Detective. Yeah, I'm enjoying her. <laughs> There's a little bit too much. He knows everything, and he's gonna. I mean, it's, if this is gonna be 16 episodes of him showing how Nam Goonman showing how great he is, <laughs> I though I what I appreciated about it, it uh-huh. wasn't that he naturally knew it. He literally went in and studied and analyzed oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. did all that, and then he presented his information yeah. and I enjoyed that. I have to say, cause as someone who went to business school, this drives me nuts in terms of management and no buy-in mm. and lots of secrets. Um, so that makes me a little crazy. But it was satisfying. It was really satisfying. His his his, uh, his PowerPoint presentation at the it end of the It was super too. satisfying. Is but he kind of like a money ball? Is he kind of like a money ball guy? That kind of character? Uh, Where he's like analyzing all the statistics? And- sort of. But there, I, there's that. definitely a darker, there's definitely a darker uh, undercurrent to oh, it. Oh, yeah. Which because, I like. Because, yeah. So that- what he's done so far at four different sports Facilities, franchises. He has gone in, 
created a winning team for that, for whether it's wrestling, ice hockey, uh, or ha- women's handball team. Mm-hmm. He's gone in and created a winning team, and then that team gets disbanded. Yes. And we find out at the end of episode two that the owner slash cousin, basically that's why that's he hired he him. And yeah. he wants non oh. men to come in and create a winning team that mm-hmm. he can then disband. Yeah. So I, I'm, not, I'm curious as if, if disbandment means that then he wants to, like, if, if, if it, if it's, we, we, we would Stoller, we or? would say it here as to no. sell the team. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think not, that, yeah. Not, not destroy the team, but they want to sell it to someone else. Yeah, do you think that that's like, oh, so it's a translation I thing? I wonder maybe? if it's a translation yeah. thing. Because this band, this I band just, means, I don't think, yeah. You, you would, trade the players off or the whole, the team just Right, or well, the team just disappears. Like, I find it hard to believe that an owner in a would, league, in a league, you can do that. Yeah. I think it's to so sell it. I think it's to sell it to a new owner. I think... It'll it's, become more clear. It's like be, making yeah. a company stock price get really good. Right. right. So yeah, exactly. Oh, so okay. I find I'm really yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by his girlfriend slash wife slash significant other scene at the beginning that really seemed weird and contentious. Right. The disabled brother and his need to photograph all of his meals. Yes. <laughs> like what does is he happening? Post, does he post on social media? We can't tell. Uh, he, he just he, takes he, a picture. Yeah, he just he takes he, a picture. Mm-hmm. And he has no numbers saved in Eating his phone. Disorder? So, <laughs> are they memorized? I have no idea. I haven't watched yet. I'm just guessing. She's like grasping about eating disorder. Because <laughs> you know, well, he's throwing out theories out there. One of them might be we're right. We're only in episode two, Karen. <laughs> okay. We don't know yet. All right. We haven't had him. Possible. We haven't had him walk out of the bathroom wiping his mouth yet. <laughs> so, just <laughs> watching it caught up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's Nam Goon Min. You yeah. have to watch. I know, I know, I know. Well, and, I, I, and I went to Vicky and not to Coco Oh, Coco has always had it. subtitles and it threw up my whole watching schedule for the weekend. Yeah. Oh. No. Because now everything's on the weekend. So. But here's my thing that I did yell at my TV. Yes. What did he whisper <gasps> to, <gasps> is it the, Lim yeah. Dong Goo or something like that? Yeah. yeah whispered the, in his ear that made him go, <gasps> and then exit stage left. Mm-hmm. So I literally was yelling like, what did I go? Got to get caught up. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm <laughs> in. I'm pretty oh, much yeah. in right now. Mm-hmm. It could change. I'd like to see. I would. I will say this though. I would like to see Nam Gung Min in a in a little bit more of a lighthearted role next time. He's so heavy. That's why it was. It was so fun. I'm like, <laughs> so, God damn it! This yeah. is more Doctor Prisoner yeah. than it is oh, Chief I Kim. Was, I thought it was yeah. going to be more Chief Kim. No, there's no wackiness here. Yeah, but none, I, none. I was, but I am intrigued. Okay. Yeah, for so, sure. Okay. For All sure. right. Thank you, Stove League. We're, I, I, I'm definitely in. I did. I wrote, I'm in for now. I'm in. For now. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. And I'll tell you one that I am all in 180,000%. <laughs> yes. If you joined us for our live Times watch, infinity. it was amazing. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. We had guys. so much fun. So much fun. And, and I, a few technical problems. Yes. But, but so I think much fun. we figured them out. Yes, so we're we very have. excited mm-hmm. for the next ones. Um, crash landing on you. <laughs> oh my God. I. We all had high, high, high hopes. And so far between episodes one and two have meant more than more than met my expectations. And I am so into it. I haven't watched two yet. (gasps) I go ahead, Carol. I'll let you go first. Well, I just need to I should state my bias. Full Mm -hmm. disclosure. Any show with Hyun Bin always starts as a love for me by default. Yes. And it's after two episodes, it is still at a love. So excellent. (laughs) Um just such an interesting, it's so interesting to have a lighthearted show yes. take place in North Korea. There that's, is that. That's interesting. But I will say, me. and this was one of my notes that I was but really, I was actually, show. I was actually impressed because I feel like this writer, and I enjoy this writer, mm-hmm. but I feel like her, her female leads are like, are always a little bit wacky to the point of stupid that I've had a problem with, that I feel like this North Korea construct uh-huh. they are still dealing with the gravitas of you being in north korea and that is not probably the safest thing ever right. where i feel like in other shows she would have been like uh, uh, like i, I feel see. like we get a little bit of that because she's got she this was enti- for i mean when she kept calling him right but i thought that was <laughs> i thought that was kind of fun and you kind of yeah. expected that because she's yeah. kind of entitled but yes, it wasn't yeah. like she was running into the streets and like oh. bugging like like I, in, in other shows like she would have yeah she would have been like knocking on everyone's oh, door yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to get like soap for her hair like right. you know but I you, t- at t- least she was only makes, bothering him. Yeah, I I, I felt mm-hmm. like I appreciate the fact that the gravitas of both of their situations was still I th- met. I think yeah. it's just her rich spoiled character that was exactly. like, that was annoying me which could, because she's doing it yes. very well. Yes. I. Ah, I'm all in. I love it so much. It's so good. Jen, I'm curious about your thoughts on the um, 
uh, <laughs> state-sponsored Truck of Doom Brigade. Oh, from episode one? And two. And oh, two. We, find oh, out that that we find out that it's, uh, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a recurring. It's a recurring theme. It has, this My incident notes. has happened with these trucks with these big, huge, like, yeah. whatever's on the I don't even know what, like, jaw claws. destroyers. Oh. I wrote, Todd is fierce in North Korea. <laughs> Todd is a fierce, fierce <laughs> force to be recognized. I don't think we've ever seen it. Reckoned yes. with. Yes. Reckoned oh, with is what I'm trying to say. It's kind of chilly out here. My mouth is freezing. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I just, I found the story to be, I just am enjoying it. Like, I think at the end of the day, it, like, I'm is, just it's really enjoying it. I enjoy the fact that I've never enjoyed Hyungbin more, I don't think. Ooh. Like, I was saying I off know. camera first, that he's just, mm. he seems very comfortable in whatever the role is, whatever yeah, it is about this grounded. character. It's very yeah. grounded. It's not over the top. It's very... He's got some comedic moments, which I've been enjoying. Mm -hmm. Like what? I, it's in episode two, but <laughs> when, when, when when all no, 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 when all of his all of his 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 command comes in and finds her there, and they're trying to explain it, he's just like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, like there's it was just so still, but so hilarious. Like there's just there's none of that over. There's none of that, like, even in Memories of the Alhambra, I felt like there were moments where he was just pushing it a little bit, where, uh -huh. like, how amazing everything was. Oh, right. I just, I'm mm. really just enjoying the fact that he knows his, he knows his stat, that's the other thing. He knows his status in North Korea, and mm -hmm. I love the fact that both of them have equal status. That was such a wonderful revelation. It's I'm so like, oh, he great. comes from a powerful yes. family also. I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. So, unlike the writer... And her other shows where there's uh -huh. always been kind of a, a jarring, oh, mm -hmm. uh, there's always been a, uh, not jarring, but there's always been a bit of a, there's always been a status in a, inequity. Mm -hmm. This one, they both are, come from very powerful families. Ooh. And so I'm really digging that. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I'm so I'm in. Sorry. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But then, the, then they went, we got to the epilogue, the second epilogue. Did you watch the second epilogue? The second, I, when she's in Switzerland? Switzerland. Yeah. And she wants wrote, to kill herself? I wrote herself? down, I want, Yes. I was like, wow, dark epilogue. She went to Switzerland for purposes of euthanasia. Yes. She's uh, like, I'd like to euthanize myself. And, the, the, and the, she like rattled off a bunch of like, yeah. I'm like what? reasons why, depression. But it does tie back into the first epilogue. And okay, they oh. they met each other in Switzerland, but at least they weren't children. So I will give it a pass. <laughs> <laughs> I, did have the, I did have the moment of like, oh, right. We saw yes. this in the, in the trailers ahead of time. I was like, oh, but right. But what I did appreciate about it is that the reason he was so taken by her in the first epilogue was not so much, I think, love at first sight per se, yeah. but it was she was in a paraglider. And I think they both oh. were looking at the paraglider's and found some sort of Something changed for both of them. Yeah, because he had a wow. Yeah, they both were like, wow. I think she learned to paraglide then, and then her life changed, and she uh -huh. didn't want to kill herself anymore, and he obviously, his life changed. And so I think when he saw a woman in a paraglider, that's maybe what and he reminded the, of we that. we have the bird at the very beginning. So yes, the, whole... the bird. And his code name is Mountain Hawk. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. So freedom. I'm just saying. Freedom. Uh, yeah. yeah. Theme. Early and a lot theme. of themes going on. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, so I'm, my I'm so in. It's so good. Oh, it's I so fun. One last little thing. Of course. I was wondering for a show, and I don't know how much of it will take place in North Korea because you yeah. know, we always get to get back to Seoul. Um, I was like, where are they going to, you know, what about product placement? Okay, that's some of the most clever product placement. <laughs> right? Oh my God, it was amazing. It's like, it's from the South. <laughs> it's from the it's South. From the South. <laughs> She's like, I'm sure you're not hiding a talking rice cooker. You know, they're doing inspections <laughs> oh God, of the local village. I'm sure you're not. Your rice is ready. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and it's the cleanest, newest rice cooker you have ever seen. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty, amazing. While, while just, they're, you know, lighting up candles and lanterns mm -hmm. at night because their electricity gets shut off. Yeah. I, so far, I just, it's really well done. I'm, I'm really lot. enjoying it a lot. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? Are you guys still in? <laughs> yeah. Right? Marco is. <laughs> oh, my God. We didn't okay. spoil you too much, did we? Well, this is our final weekly watch list of 2019. Wherever you are, whatever you celebrate, thank you for spending the year with us. We really appreciate it. And we can't wait to do so much more in 2020. 2020. We have lots, lots of special episodes coming mm -hmm. up over the holiday season for you to enjoy, to look back on 2019. Oh, which was such a fun Thank year. you for voting in our awards. Yes. That segment will be coming up as a special early in 2020. Ah, uh, it's yeah. going to be great. So until then, we are the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Karen. I'm Marisa. And you can watch all of what we covered in 2019 <laughs> somewhere in here. Take a click on right that. And we will see you next year. Bye. Bye.